Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel, The Appalachian Home. So I've been wanting to do these series of videos for a really long time, and I'm just getting started on them. Um, but they were requested that I show how, you guys how I did all of my decals in Inkscape. And I'm just going to do a series of videos on how you can do certain things in Inkscape and export those as SVGs and put them directly into Design Space. So today, the first thing we're just going to be working on is a monogram. And we're going to be diving in a little bit into the text feature in Inkscape. And I'll just probably do a series of videos on text and show you guys how you can use text to create quotes and block out texts and um, car decals and things like that. And the first thing you want to do when you go into Inkscape is go to File, Document Properties, and we're just going to change our document properties. Um, I'm going to make sure that my display units are in inches. Yours may not be in inches, so you'll want to change that in inches, especially if you're working with a sized element like a decal, if you wanted a certain size. Okay, we're not going to use this US letter size page because um, we're not going to need that today. So I'm going to make sure that the page border is turned off and just unclick that box. Um, something else you can do is change your scale to 1, but I'm just going to leave mine for today. You can turn on and off this checkerboard background if you're going to be working with white images. If I click the checkerboard background, it takes away the white background and you're just left with a uh, background that makes it very easy to see white images. But for today, I'm, since I'm going to be working in black text, I'm going to leave this unchecked and just work on this white background. So to create the monogram first, you're going to be want to create your text. Um, over here on the left is your menu. This little A icon is your text icon. So if you click on that and then click on your screen, it will come up with this cursor. And mine is really huge right now because I have it zoomed in. Um, if you hit the minus sign on your number keypad, it will zoom you out. The same um, with the plus sign will zoom you in. Okay, so I'm going to create the initials A, K, C, and I'm hitting SHIFT to get those in all capital letters. So now you have your text. I'll zoom in once. To change your font, I'll double click on my text box and go up here to the drop down box um, and change it to whatever font you want. I have a font that is specific for monograms. It is called Monogram KC, I believe. Right here, Mono Monogram KK. SC and I will try to put in the description box where you can find this but I'm gonna click on that and it automatically puts it in this monogram looking font so a couple things I want to do before I actually um, send this out as an SVG I want to change the look of it a bit so the first thing I'm gonna do is separate all my letters so that I can resize these outer ones and kind of move them in closer go to path and you'll want to change your letters object to path. That gets them out of text mode and makes these separate images. Now I can right click on this text box and ungroup and now all my letters are ungrouped. Okay, so I want to change this look of this SVG and you can kind of play around with this, but I will select my first letter and hit shift and select my second letter and I just resize these to make them smaller. Okay, and the reason I clicked both of them at the same time is I want these both exactly the same size. So selecting them both and then resizing them both gets them exactly the same font size. Now I can select off those letters and move each of these individual ones in closer until I like the way that both of them look. And now I'm going to select again both of my outer letters, make sure they're both selected. Go to Object. Align and Distribute, and then it will come up with a menu on the right side of your screen. You can align these letters center, um, vertically centered, top, bottom, side, left, right, and so on. I'm going to align these both to the top so they're both perfectly aligned at the same height. Okay, and now once I have all that done, I am just going to drag a box over all of my letters. And I'm going to go to Path and Union, and that makes this one image that I can export into the design space, and it will cut it all out um, without any breaks in the letters. You can resize this to whatever you're creating it. So um, make sure this little lock is locked to keep your proportions. And say you want this 
five and a half inches wide, just type in 5.5 and now you have a five and a half inch wide monogram. I want to go to file and save as and anytime you are saving this you want to save it as a plain SVG so Inkscape automatically comes up with Inkscape SVG but I'm going to change that in my drop down box as a plain SVG and I'll hit save and now once you go into Cricut you can upload that file so we'll go into Cricut and I'll show you how to do that okay so now we're in Cricut design space and I want to upload the SVG that I just created so I'll go to upload I want to go to upload image going to click browse and go to my demo and open so now it brings it straight into design space as an SVG so I'll go ahead and save this and click on it and insert the image and if you don't see this come up right away click on the one that I just inserted which is this AKC up here and then I'll go and resize it back down to say five and a half inches and then I'll click on it again and it should come up directly into your design space and now you can go straight to make it and it will cut this all out as one image if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video